In this video, I'm taking a short break from the series in order to show some work I've been doing on the side lately. Before I get into it, I am getting sick, so I apologize for the raspy voice. The subject of this video is designing and building a baron from scratch. I'm using some skills I have outside of the hobby to do so. First, I build a 3D model of this baron in a program called SolidWorks. You can see me clicking through the different features which show how I made this baron in the program. The design I came up with very closely resembles Kurosaki's Disc Baron. I use this one myself and I have no issues with it so I decided it would be a good place to start at least from a design perspective. The next program I used is called a 3D Slicer. It essentially takes the 3D model and creates a set of instructions for a 3D printer to use. I think this is really cool. It's a visual representation of what the printing process will look like. Each layer has some yellow and green, where the yellow is a support material and the green is the final ASA plastic which the Baron will be made out of. I know many of you have probably seen this before, but for me it's always mesmerizing watching these 3D printers go. This is what the print looked like the next day I came in. It looks good, but still has some support material that needs to be removed. This chemical bath will completely dissolve that white plastic you see. Here's that print after the bath. Unfortunately, the bottom of the baron did not come out correctly. The printer just wasn't able to render all the detail, but I know if I tweak some variables in the future, I can get this to come out properly. As part of the post-processing, I dipped this baron in acetone. Acetone melts this plastic, so it kind of fuses the layers together and gives it a little bit of a smoother touch. And finally, I just wanted to give it a nice red paint job, just for looks. The first step was to sand it down so that the paint adhered to the plastic better. I don't have any video of the painting, but here's what the first Baron I made looks like. As I mentioned earlier, I did end up printing a second one. This time, the texture came out perfectly. You can see here before I dipped it in acetone and after has a much smoother texture and just a nicer appearance. My ultimate goal with this little project is just to make a Baron that functions well and is easy to reproduce. I have a lot of alternate design ideas, but to be honest I haven't even tested these two Barons yet. So in the future I'll make an update video and talk about all those things. For now though, thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope you have a great day.